Herbs in Action. Reflections and stories from Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows. Discussing herbs from around the world. Uh, my name is Sushma. I'm from uh, Nepal, but I go to school at Miami University of Ohio. Uh, for the past four years, I've been studying uh, in the mountains of uh, Nepal in central Himalaya. Um, there I study with four ethnic communities on how they use uh, their plant resources. One of the plants that uh, really uh, is very important to the people who I work with is uh, rhododendron arboreum. Locally, um, rhododendron is known as uh, tokta or taktok. Rhododendron is uh, the national flower of Nepal and it uh, grows in a very acidic soil. And uh, the flowers are beautiful, deep, scarlet, red uh, to pink and white, and it, they flower in uh, March and April. Women use the flowers to decorate their hairs in their house. But in other parts of Nepal, it is used also in various other ways. And the paste of the young leaves uh, are applied to cure headache and rheumatic pains. Uh, the petals are eaten to get rid of menstrual disorder and the flower pastes are applied around the eyes so that you can have a good eyesight. But you have to be careful because the young leaves of rhododendrons are poisonous to livestock. Uh, rhododendron extract has also been looked into in, in labs and researchers have found out that the extracts uh, show anti-inflammatory, anti-liver uh, damage, anti-diabetic, antioxidant and also having antimicrobial properties. So we can see a great number of medicinal things that are coming out of rhododendron soon. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.